The second epistle of Peter, often referred to as 2 Peter and written 2 Peter or in Roman numerals 2 Peter especially in older references, is a book of the New Testament of the Bible, traditionally held to have been written by St. Peter. Most biblical scholars have concluded Peter is not the author, considering the epistle pseudepigraphical. Topic. Composition Topic. According to the epistle itself, it was composed by the Apostle Peter, an eyewitness to Jesus' ministry. It criticizes false teachers who distort the authentic, apostolic tradition, and predicts judgment for them. Second Peter explains that God has delayed the second coming of Christ so that more people will have the chance to reject evil and find salvation. It calls on Christians to wait patiently for the parousia and to study scripture. The date of composition has proven to be very difficult to determine. Commentaries and reference books have placed 2 Peter in almost every decade from AD 60 to 160. Taken literally, it would have been written between 65 to 68 AD because Peter was martyred around 68 AD by Nero and also because Peter references his approaching death in 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 14. Since I know that the putting off of my body will be soon, as our Lord Jesus Christ made clear to me. Most biblical scholars have concluded Peter is not the author, considering the epistle pseudepigraphical. Reasons for this include its linguistic differences from 1 Peter, its apparent use of Jude, possible allusions to second-century Gnosticism, encouragement in the wake of a delayed parousia, and weak external support. The questions of authorship and date are closely related. For Petrine authorship to be authentic, it must have been written prior to Peter's death in c. A.D. 65-67. The letter refers to the Pauline epistles and so must post-date at least some of them, regardless of authorship, thus a date before 60 is improbable. Further, it goes as far to name the Pauline epistles as Scripture. The only time a New Testament work refers to another New Testament work in this way, implying that it post-dates them by some time. Scholars consider the epistle to be written between c. A.D. 100-150 and so contend that it is pseudepigraphical. Topic. Canonical acceptance Topic. Acceptance of the letter into the canon did not occur without some difficulty, however. Nowhere did doubts about the letter's authorship take the form of definitive rejection. The earliest record of doubts concerning the authorship of the letter were recorded by Origen c. 185-254, though Origen mentioned no explanation for the doubts, nor did he give any indication concerning the extent or location. Donald Guthrie suggests that, "...it is fair to assume, therefore, that he saw no reason to treat these doubts as serious, and this would mean to imply that in his time the epistle was widely regarded as canonical." Origen, in another passage, has been interpreted as considering the letter to be Petrine in authorship. Before Origen's time, the evidence is inconclusive, there is a lack of definite early quotations from the letter in the writings of the Apostolic Fathers, though possible use or influence has been located in the works of Clement of Alexandria d. c. 211, Theophilius d. c. 183, Aristides d. c. 134, Polycarp, d. 155, and Justin, d. 165, Eusebius, c. 275-339, professed his own doubts see also Antilegomena, and is the earliest direct testimony of such, though he stated that the majority supported the text, and by the time of Jerome, c. 346-420, it had been mostly accepted as canonical. The Peshitta, the standard version of the Bible for churches in the Syriac tradition, does not contain the second epistle of Peter and thus rejects its canonical status. Topic content topic In both content and style this letter is very different from 1 Peter. This epistle presciently declares that it is written shortly before the Apostle's death 114. Arguments have been made both for and against this being part of the original text, but this debate largely is centered on the acceptance or rejection of supernatural intervention in the life of the writer. The epistle contains 11 references to the Old Testament. In 315, 16 a reference is made to one of Paul's epistles, which some have identified as 1 Thessalonians 4 13-5 11. 
The book also shares a number of passages with the Epistle of Jude, 1 to 5 with Jude chapter 3, 1 12 with Jude chapter 5, 2 to 1 with Jude chapter 4, 2 to 4 with Jude chapter 6, 2 to 5 with Jude chapter 5, 2 to 6 with Jude chapter 7, 2 10 minus 11 with Jude chapters 8 to 9, 2 12 with Jude chapter 10, 2 13 minus 17 with Jude chapters 11 to 13, 2 18 with Jude chapter 16, 3 to 2 f with Jude 17 f, 3 to 3 with Jude chapter 18, 314 with Jude chapter 24, and 318 with Jude chapter 25. Because the epistle of Jude is much shorter than 2 Peter, and due to various stylistic details, the scholarly consensus is that Jude was the source for the similar passages of 2 Peter. Tartarus is mentioned in 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 4 as devoted to the holding of certain fallen angels. It is elaborated on in Jude chapter 6. Jude chapter 6 however, is a clear reference to the book of Enoch. Bachum suggests that 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 4 is partially dependent on Jude chapter 6 but is independently drawing on paranetic tradition that also lies behind Jude chapters 5 to 7. The paranetic traditions are in Sirach 16 to 7 minus 10, Damascus document 2 17 to 3 12, 3 Maccabees 2 to 4 minus 7, Testament of Naphtali 3 to 4 minus 5, and Mishnah Sanhedrin 10 to 3. Topic audience topic the audience in this book are the various churches in Asia Minor in general. Topic outline topic the letter is usually outlined as follows address 2 Peter chapter 1 verses 1 to 2 exhortation to Christian virtue 2 Peter chapter 1 verses 3 to 21 condemnation of the false teachers 2 Peter chapter 2 verses 1 to 22 the delay of the second coming 2 Peter chapter 3 verses 1 to 16 final exhortation and doxology 2 Peter chapter 3 verses 17 to 18 topic see also topic first epistle of Peter text Textual variants in the second epistle of Peter Universal Destination of Goods Topic Notes Topic Topic References Topic Adams, Thomas B. A Commentary on the Second Epistle General of Second Peter Soli Deo Gloria Ministries, 1990. ISBN 978-1-877611-24-7 Green, Michael. The Second Epistle of Peter and the Epistle of Jude, An Introduction and Commentary w. M. B. Eerdmans Publishing Company, 2007. ISBN 978 0 8308 2997 2. Leathert, Peter J. The Promise of His Appearing, an Exposition of 2 Peter. Canon Press, 2004. ISBN 978 1 59128 026 2. Lilly, John. Lectures on the First and Second Epistles of Peter. Clock and Clock Christian Pub, 1978. ISBN 978-0-86524-116-9 Seton, Bernard E. Meet Pastor Peter, Studies in Peter's Second Epistle Review and Herald Pub. Association, 1985. ISBN 978-0-8280-0290-5 External links Topic. Online translations of the epistle Topic. Book of 2 Peter NLT at BibleGateway.com Online Bible at GospelHall.org Bible, 2 Peter Public Domain Audiobook at LibriVox Various Versions Topic. Other Topic. Christian Classics Ethereal Library A sizable article giving an overview of the problems with, and ultimately a defense of, the authenticity of 2 Peter Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Epistles of St. Peter. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton Company.